Hey, what's happening? Paul Ingram here with College Center. In today's training, we're going to be taking a look at some different exercises that we can do to help increase our wrist flexibility and strength and at the same time be improving our grip strength. This is super, super important to have when we are training our Kali. So before we get into it, hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up button, and let's go ahead and get training. Some of the most common questions I get when it comes to training a Kali is, hey Paul, how do we increase wrist flexibility and how do I start strengthening my grip so my weapon isn't sliding in my hands and uh, you know I'm not getting gassed out here in the form and then I can't go a long duration of time. So we have to make sure in Kali that we are conditioning our wrists and we are constantly improving the strength in our grip. So we have to increase the wrist flexibility and the strength of the wrist so that way we are increasing good weapon stability when we make contact and of course that grip strength so that way we can go a longer endurance time with the sticks, the swords, the spears, everything, the knives in our hands and we don't have to worry about dropping them or having them slip out of our grip. All right, so let's go ahead and get to a few different exercises right here that you can start doing right now today to start improving these two areas of your body, your wrist and your grip. All right, for the first exercise for our wrist flexibility, let's go ahead and grab our single stick. One of the cool things is with all of these exercises, you're also going to be working on the grip as well. But we are going to do some special exercises that specifically target on the grip and the wrist strength and the grip strength and all that stuff. So first up is that we're gonna start working some of the rotations in the wrist to get this thing more flexible. So what I want you to do is grab your stick about one fist length up. You could also be doing these exercises with a training bolo as well, but you wanna make sure you're grabbing it one fist length up. From here, you're going to make sure that you secure that grip. You don't have to white knuckle it, you don't have to death grip it, but you wanna make sure you have a good grip on the stick. From here, we're gonna make sure our hand is roughly in line with our shoulder. So you're gonna see how we have this little bit of this triangle going on right here. That's what we want. And we're gonna start rotating the stick forward. Now when we're rotating the stick forward, you're gonna notice that the tip of the stick is rotating to the outside of the form. My elbow is tucked nice and close to the body. And my hand is, again, maintaining at that shoulder level. Now look real carefully right here. You're going to notice that my hand is remaining closed. I'm not opening my hand like this. I right, keep it closed. You got to have a full grip. See how now I'm getting a full rotation in my wrist. If I start to open it, you're going to see how you're starting to lose that rotation in your wrist. So you're just cheating yourself there. You're not doing anything. So you got to keep this thing closed so that way now you're getting a full rotation in the wrist. Just start slow when you're doing these exercises. In the beginning, if you got tighter wrists, you know, it might kind of look a little bit more like this. Just keep working that exercise, keep doing it every single day, and over some weeks, maybe a couple of months, that flexibility is gonna start to increase. And now we wanna make sure we're using the stick for this because that stick is gonna add that momentum to help bring that wrist and rotate it all the way around in that full circle, just like that. Okay? Now, you also wanna make sure that you're working this out on the left-hand side as well. We wanna make sure we're conditioning both sides of the body here, because at some point, you're probably gonna to wanna to start utilizing two weapons, right? Two sticks, a spotty adaga, two, uh, two daggers, or uh, the spear, the staff. So we wanna make sure that we're working both, right here. Just do about 50 to 100 of those forward rotations per day. And if you want, you could try to knock out two sets per day. So you're hitting between 100 to 200 rotations per hand. Second exercise is now we're gonna rotate forward and we're gonna rotate back. So we're gonna go one time forward, one time back, just like this. Boom, right here, okay? So from here, when we rotate this forward, we wanna make sure that we're gonna stop this tip of the weapon right here right on line with our eyes. We don't want this thing to come all the way down like this. One, you don't want to whack yourself in the shin, especially if you're doing this with a bowl or something like that. But two, we got to start developing that stabilization in the wrist. And then we go run rotation all the way back. So forward, stop it, the tip, right on line with the bridge, and then one rotation back. We're going to go all the way back, touch that chamber, because we're also going to start using this as a warm up for the pectoral muscles, for the delts, for the lats, for everything and we can warm it up while we're building up that wrist uh, flexibility. So we have one rotation forward and one rotation back. Boom, right here. 
Again, also make sure that we're doing our forward and back rotations with the left hand. Again, we wanna make sure we're starting to condition that. Always keeping that grip closed, we're never opening the grip. The next wrist flexibility exercise with the stick, we're gonna go into our boutiques. Some styles call this abanicos. Either way, the abanico is the fanning motion of the stick. Boutique means to flick, so we are flicking the weapon as well. So either terminology is totally cool right there. We wanna make sure that we got a good grip on the stick and we're going into what we call a number one wateek and then a number two wateek. So we have one, two, one, two. Make sure you have a good grip here, okay? And make sure you're also rotating your hips and shoulders. You don't wanna just do all hand like this because if you over rotate it and you're not flexible, and your form is not conditioned enough, then you don't want to start uh, you know, causing some uh, strain and everything here. So you want to make sure you have a good grip on the weapon and you're rotating your hips and shoulders so that way you can control that momentum a little bit more. And notice how high my hand is. Okay? You don't want to be doing this down here. You don't want to accidentally whack yourself in the face. So when we come in with our high one and two with teeks, we keep that hand right around that crown area of our head. Okay, again, work those wateeks also on the left hand side. So now you're starting to work that horizontal rotation in the wrists. All right, now we're gonna get the rotation of the wrists on the inside, and we're gonna do that by utilizing the technique called a florete. So the floretti is kind of more like an advanced type of technique or type of tactic. And now we're gonna rotate the wrists with a different type of direction. So when we come out with the floretti, we're gonna come out with the back end of the stick because when we have our blades here at Collie Center, we have a sharp edge right there on the top of our bolo right there. So we're coming over with the top edge like that and then it rotates and then we cut with the main edge. Same thing on the number two. We hit back with that top edge, rotate it, and then down with that main edge. Just like our other wrist rotations and exercises, make sure again that we have a full grip on the stick. So we have one florete and two florete. One, two, one, two. Now, while you're doing these exercises, if you happen to be sliding down your stick on any of them, once you're kind of sliding down like that, go ahead and tuck it underneath your arm, re-grip it one fist length up, and go again until you finish that rep of your set. Okay? And you can also switch it because you want to make sure that you are training the other side as well. All right, let's go ahead and step it up just a little bit on some of our uh, wrist strengthening exercises. Uh, if you have a staff or a spear, you can go ahead and uh, use this. This is one of the great things to use. And we're gonna hold it just like this at the end. As you get stronger, you can hold it closer and closer all the way to the end. If you're not as strong yet, then choke up on it a little bit and then you can work it from there and then you can progress. And from here, basically what we want to do is we bring it down and up, just like this. Down and up. Don't let it touch the ground, don't let it touch the ground. Okay? And again, as you get further away from the tip, okay, you're adding more resistance to it. Don't go super fast. This is like lifting weights for your wrist. Okay, just get about 10 to 15 reps in per set and then switch it out and do the other side.
one of the best things that you can possibly do for your grip strength is get a pair of parallel bars. Just head over to the hardware store, go grab some pipes, screw them together. You want to have a little set of parallel bars and you also want to have a high bar. And from here, we're just going to focus on the grip. So we're going to grab the bars just like this. We're going to jump up and just keep the pressure up and forward. And if you want to, you can get a little bit of some trap reps in. Another great exercise for your grip strength, this is probably one of the easiest exercises you can do. You can literally do this from anywhere. You just gotta have somewhere to hang from. So if you got a high bar, if you've got a playground by you or anything, just kinda be creative. Anything you can hang from. You wanna jump up, grab that, and you just wanna hang for as long as you can. So sometimes while I'm just hanging here, I like to just get a few leg raises in. That way I can start activating the core at the same time, strengthening my grip. Or just hold it. So the final grip strengthening exercise I want to give you for today is we want to make sure we're working this kind of more explosive type of grip. So we can go just like this, squeeze your hands as tight as you can, and then open them, and then squeeze them. Open, squeeze, open, squeeze. Just like this, okay? Now, we can also add a little bit of resistance on there, so now we can open it and catch. Okay, again, same thing with the other side. You want to squeeze that for about a half a second and then let it go and squeeze it again. With all of these exercises that I gave you today with our wrist flexibility and strengthening and our grip strengthening, you can put together a mini type of workout. As you're going through your rounds and getting your reps in for your wrist conditioning and your grip conditioning training, in between rounds, grab a stick, grab a double stick, grab your staff or your spear, and do about a one minute round of Carenza between your wrist and grip strengthening and conditioning rounds. That way you still get to get some of that flow in and that's a great way to Kind of take a little bit of a break but without you know doing nothing so you can still start working that flow even if you kind of just go nice and slow and all that but now you're getting that collie training in on both sides you're getting that specific targeted grip and wrist flexibility and strengthening training in and you also get to get some of that carenza time or saya time in as well and improve your free flow if you find these exercises to be useful for your colleague, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button, leave me a comment below, and share this video with your friends in your colleague and martial arts classes. And also make sure that you are subscribed to the channel for future videos. Go ahead and click that little bell right there so that way you're notified every time I come out with a brand new training video for you. I was reading some uh, stuff about the grip. In this day and age, human beings grip is the weakest that it has ever been. So we need Kali, guys. We need Kali to start bringing that grip strength right back up in our species as a whole. All right, get on out there. Go get your wrist conditioned up, strengthened up, loosened up, get that grip strength up, and then I'll see you back here in the next video for some more Kali training. Head outside and go make nature your Kali dojo.